Hey everybody, this is Tambiota and I'm back with another third party Transformers video review. And this time I have Unique Toys Troll from their Orden set, which is supposed to be a homage to Blot um, from the, the Terracon set. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. As you can see on the front cover, there's a, a picture of him, a, a drawn picture of him. Um, and we got just a straight up picture of Troll in his, uh, his alternate mode. And on the back, you have some pictures of him in, in various various modes. You have him combined with some of his weapons, his robot mode, his beast mode, with his weapons attached in different ways. And then you come over here and you have that same picture that was on the other side. <clears throat> then the bottom of the box has some warning, choking hazard things. And then the top of the box has basically the same picture again, just a little bit smaller. And then over 37 centimeters in height, the most the most powerful witchcraft masters. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and get him out of the box and check him out, alright? Alright, so here's Troll out of the box and in his, what they like to call beast mode. Um, inside the box he does come with a couple of extra things. He comes with a little tech spec card and on the other side there's that picture of him again that's on the front and top of the box. And he also comes with his instructions. So, you, know, you have that picture again and then just colored instructions on how to transform him um, to his beast mode and then to his leg mode. And he also comes with his feet pieces. So, and these can actually come apart and make some weapons and stuff. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. <clears throat> so here's like I said, here's Troll again in his, his beast mode. So let's bring it a little bit closer so you can see. It's nice red highlights in the eyes and, and the purples and blues and grays. And it's it's really nice all around kind of figure. Um, I think they're doing way better on these than they did on their, their Predaking set. It's uh, like that, 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 that first set that they did, um, I wasn't fairly impressed with it at all. Um, that's why I didn't get it. Um, but I think I'm gonna get all these guys. These these are very nice. Uh, they feel they feel nice. They don't feel light in any way. They they feel like the the plastic is is thick enough to hold up. Uh, the only thing that I do kind of have um, some nitpicks about. I'll show you during transformation. They're kind of hard to see, like some of these joints and stuff. Uh, in the arms and then with the legs down here they kind of um, they kind of make me worry a little bit with transforming them a whole bunch um, I'll try to remember to show those off to you uh, another thing you have to be careful with these claws his claws right here and the claws on his feet are very sharp um, so you want to be careful with that you don't want to give this to little kids they can maybe hurt themselves I don't, I don't know um, so as in, uh, other people have, have showed on their videos, I know I'm getting mine out pretty late, um, the head does store underneath here so you don't have any kind of mouth articulation or anything like that. Um, this is the combiner port right here and it's completely hollow. You can see the light coming through it. I didn't realize that earlier. Um, hmm. Okay, so for his alternate weapon attack mode things you can take the the foot piece right here and there's these two little things on the side and you can pull these out and these are pretty well in there uh, only one thing that kind of makes me a little nervous about this is that there's stress marks on these little tabs right here and I haven't used these for anything I, I think these stretch marks the stress marks came on it whenever I originally got it so it's the other pegs don't have stress marks on them just these two on the outside see this one also has it um, I don't know if you can see how you can see that it's a little bit lighter right there so and I haven't used these for for anything I haven't had them holding these pegs or anything <coughs> 
this one. And they're in there very tight because there's two pegs that basically hold these in. Um, there's this one right here, which tabs into here, and then this one right here that tabs into here. So, all right, so those are pulled off. You take these, flip these out, and these become guns. And you can take these and tab them onto his arms. He has those little ports right there. It's uh, like that. And then he has this thing right here becomes kind of a rocket pack or missile pack. See all the missiles in there? You can bend that like that. <clears throat> and then you can take and tab it into right here, or you can flip this bit out and you can tab it to this side. So it really doesn't matter. Um, so it, it's like you got a, a rocket pack or a missile pack on his back but it's not really in the middle I, I wish they would have tried to figure out a way to get it in the middle I don't know um, so that's him with his weapons and such on and then there's something else that I want to kind of show off I, I have no idea what this is for there's it's nowhere in the instructions and it doesn't look like it's part of the combiner mode either but there's some kind of tab that you can flip out right here on his butt see that I have no idea what that is for um, I just noticed that one day and it's like, what is this for? And I looked in the instructions and it wasn't in the instructions. So, <clears throat> really unsure about that. Alright, so I'll go ahead and show how to transform him into his robot mode. Um, going from his beast mode to his robot mode isn't as hard. Uh, and I'll kind of I'll kind of show you why. Let me get those pieces off to the side. So we're going to start here down at the feet. So the feet are part of the backpack also. So you want to take, you know, there's there's two places the tabs into. There you can see these two tabs right here, on the back, and then there's two tabs down here that go into this crotch plate. So you see this black part right here. There's a tab that goes into the crotch plate, and then this black piece right here, and a tab that goes into the crotch plate. So if you pull those apart, you can see the 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 tabs. Let me see if I can get the light in there right. You can see the tab right there, and then there's a tab right there. And those clip into here. You can see the holes. Right. Let's see if I can get the light just right. Uh, well, you can see the hole right here, kind of, and then there's a hole also in here. But um, you want to take that, untab those, untab this. Oops, I don't want to flip that up. You just should untab this. And then <clears throat> easiest thing to do is just to accordion out the legs. So let me flip this up a little bit arms and you want to accordion out these legs so that this all comes out like that and it's real easy to do it like this but whenever you go the opposite direction for some reason it's a pain because these these little bits right here get tangled up on here and you have to get them in between here so and this these are the parts I'm sorry I didn't really show that. These pieces right here, uh, you have to get them in between these notches right here, and that's it's a little a little rough. And then sometimes it, it feels like it's not. Uh, I don't know. These pieces right here, they kind of they kind of scare me because you can see how it's already kind of worn down right there and right there. Um, and then it's not so bad on this side, but it's 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 a basically a post uh, that they have in there so if it broke then you know there's no way to it's it's not a it's not a ball joint or anything like that if that broke then that's just that's broke so um, all right. and then you want to take flip this around flip this up flip this like that and then you want to take move that forward like that forward then like that then you're going to rotate this portion forward like that. You can raise the toes up. This is going to flip up like that. This one is a little, gets caught a little bit more um, for some odd reason. The legs, flip that around, collapse them down. Um, 
that joint is on a ratchet. Sorry, I didn't show you the articulation, but that is on a ratchet right there. Um, this can swivel. There's a joint right here. The heel actually has a joint on it, but it's very stiff, and I don't like doing it because it pops out. So I'm going to rotate that around, back down, and then this will rotate this away, and it'll just kind of you can see it right here there's a little notch that goes in there and that goes into the leg and then there's a tab right here and a hole it's not this hole it's a hole in the gray part right here so you want to tab that into there and then you notice that you can push in on this portion see how it's filling that in and then you tab it into the leg let me show you again on this side Fold all this up. All right. Tab. Okay. And then see the tab in the hole. And then th again, you can see how it's kind of right there, how it's kind of the plastic is getting. Not really. It's not really stressed. It's just getting scratched off because the 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 hole and the tab aren't the same size. And this, that's that one was the hardest one for me to do originally um, to pop that back in and such. And then and then what you want to do is you want to tab the knees back in. So you see a see the little thing right there. Clip the knees back in. Um, this little panel's back into here so it doesn't pivot at this joint so it pivots at the top joint for the knee um, I don't know if you saw that earlier but I did flip this panel up into here and then flip this back up um, just wanted to go ahead and show that real quick so there are his legs All right, so now we're gonna go to the hands and once again it's kinda like the legs were um, except it's the opposite way these pieces will go on the back now so I'm go ahead and go like this and you want to raise these panels right here and then there's you can see these this little gray piece or this little blue piece right here it's gonna um, flip down and that holds this portion up whenever you flip it down let's get it started see and that holds it up Same for this side. Okay, so now we're going to use these pieces right here. You're going to flip this out, and then you want to flip his arms out this way. And go ahead and close it. I think it goes like that. You take this flip this up and then it will kind of slide into there so it makes a backpack for him so you'll do that with the other side so there's this panel right here flip that out and you want to you can grab it right here and then rotate it out like that close that up all right so I'll go like that Rotate there. And you want to rotate the arm around. And then you just want to rotate that up. And these two um, monster hands will peg together. Close those up. Rotate these around so that they kind of look nice on the top. I think, yeah, like that. Everything's nice and tight together, and then right here on these hands, see it's already kind of wearing off right here. This tab, so I'm gonna take and push that into here. 
So like that. And on this side also. Um, straighten the arms out. And then come back here. There's a little tab right here so you can take your fingernail or whatever and kind of push down on it. Um, I think I may loosen the screw right here. I think that'll probably help with getting that out because these are very tight um, which is okay whenever you're holding the guns but whenever you're trying to get it out it's a little bit rough and then um, to pull the head out you want to drop this portion down flip the head up his, his robot head up twist it around you can flip the the monster head back down, flip that down, and just make sure that's right there. It's it uses the same um, the same pivot, so they they rub up against each other, and that's why the head popped up, and I had to push it back down again. So, all right, and for so that's troll in his robot mode now. Take a look at his, at his head real quick. It's, it's pretty nice. I like that. I like the red visor and his little pissed off little grin or whatever scowl thing on his face. So that's it's cool. There's no light piping on it, but that's that's okay. You don't need light piping on everything. So and pretty much whenever we get all these guys, anyways, he's not going to be in robot mode. Probably he's going to be in his combined mode. So for his leg pieces again, he has the guns. Um, there's a couple ways that you can have him hold them. You can either, once again, put it on the side like that. You can have him hold them like that, or like that, or whichever. He'll, because he'll, he'll hold them. Some people say that they, he won't hold them, but I have no problems with him holding the guns. So pew pew, you know, so don't know what these guys are talking about or you can go like that and then this thing right here um, it doesn't clamp onto the back mainly you just take this and flip these little panels down and then you can do like that but here but the the joints like that there we go and you can store it on its side or if you don't like it that high then I guess you could always go and take this top one right here and do that and then do it right there but yeah that's how you store the weapon thing but I'm just gonna take it and throw it off to the side because I don't like it <clears throat> So for Troll's robot articulation, I'm sorry I didn't get to show you his uh, his monster articulation, but I think you pretty much saw what he could do while I was transforming him. So uh, starting off at his head it is on a it is on a ball joint, so you can look a little up, a little down, left and right. The arm right here, there's a joint in here, so you can go back and go forward, and then a joint within the shoulder, so you can go out then he does have a cut right here so you can swivel that he does have a double a double uh, elbow joint right here and right here um, and then he has a swivel on his wrist which is really nice and that's about it for the hands and you come down here under here he has a swivel for the waist then with his legs you got a um, a joint inside the hip so you can go like that you can go forward and then you got another joint in here so you can go out and then you have a joint right here so you can bend the knee and there's a swivel right above that so you can turn it and then you come down here there's a ball joint and another joint underneath here so you can bend the toe down you can bend the toe down like that you can twist it twist it so you got some options for posability so yeah I'm looking forward to the rest of them they've uh, they've showed the um, the next figure that's coming out 
and they've shown a color prototype of the whole thing so looking forward to the rest of those coming out hopefully they don't come out all at one time which has been happening with a lot of things right now so with that I guess it's gonna go ahead and conclude my review don't forget to check out my other reviews don't forget to subscribe follow me on Twitter this has been Tambiota and I'll see you next time <laughs>